Back in 2011, he was a highly recruited quarterback for the Stratford Spartans. These days, he's one of college football's premier quarterbacks, although it's taken amazing perseverance to reach this point for Sam Houston State's Jeremiah Briscoe. We recently caught up with Jeremiah, who we also feature in our Whataburger Athlete of the Week profile. As the first Sam Houston State Bearcat to win the Walter Payton Award as the nation's top offensive player in the FCS, Jeremiah Briscoe hopes to now lead the Bearcats to a national championship this season. Doing so, six years removed from his senior season in Houston for the Stratford Spartans. So I've really had the opportunity to learn behind Connor Wood, who's at Texas now, and now to pick Coach Green's brand, who coached Andrew Luck. And all of that has just kind of added up to help me know how to read defenses and make really good decisions. And I love Stratford. I mean, I had grown up, lived in that neighborhood my whole life zone there, so I would always wanted to play with all those guys I'd grown up with. Uh, I had a great, great experience my senior year. But after that senior year, it's been an incredible roller coaster ride for Briscoe. Shoulder surgery forced him to redshirt his freshman football season at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. Then, just days after the following season, December 2nd, 2014, UAB elected to shut down the football program in a cost-cutting move. But the biggest thing is that people don't realize we found out 30, 45 minutes before the rest of the world did. It's not like we had some forewarning that the program was going to get shut down. So, I mean, it was kind of a madhouse. I mean, it was fire sale on pretty much all the players at UAB. So we were meeting with coaches in hotel conference rooms and everything like that, trying to get out of your apartment bills and leases and figure out where you're gonna go and study for finals. So, much like during his senior year at Stratford, where he was among the nation's top 20 QB recruits, the offers to transfer to major schools, including the likes of Florida, came pouring in. But for Briscoe, home was where the heart is. And with three seasons of eligibility still remaining, Jeremiah decided on Sam Houston State. So I really wanted to go to a place that was one closer to home. Um, I did miss Texas and Whataburger and <laughs> in my family. Um, but then I wanted to find a place in a system that kind of fit me and my skill set um, and that was going to give me an opportunity. I mean, when I came to Sam, they had the reigning conference player of the year at starting quarterback. Um, but I didn't care. I mean, I just wanted an opportunity to start and compete and take over this team, win a championship. And so, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing the way it happened. The way it's happened has been nothing short of amazing. After splitting quarterback time his first season at Sam, last year, Briscoe threw for 4,600 yards and 57 touchdowns, culminating with his winning the prestigious Walter Payton Award. For all that, all that hard work to come to fruition and everything kind of play out the way it was, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty wild. I mean, to go from UAB not knowing what's going on to winning that, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. I mean, guys got a crazy plan, so I mean, it's, it's been fun. Fun for sure. Even if the now 24-year-old Briscoe is the elder statesman of the seventh-ranked Bearcats. Everybody calls me dad. I'm, I'm dad on the team or grandpa now. Um, then my hairline's going and everything too, so it just adds to it. But yeah, we joke around that I'll be the only 24-year-old um, that's not in the state of Utah playing college football. 